What's up guys, it's your boy the Moan and welcome back to another video. Good morning. Long time no see. We're finally getting back in the swing of things and today we're going to be taking a first look and reacting to uh, a new video that was dropped uh, by the studio uh, that is creating the game Nightingale. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So the original inspiration for Nightingale came from a story that myself and our art director, Neil Thompson, had read called Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. This is an amazing book about uh, two wizards who rediscover magic during the Napoleonic times and how they ultimately understand it and use it to change the course of world events. It's based around the idea that what happens if you pierce the veil effectively between worlds and what are the decisions that arise as a result of that. So we fell in love with the Victorian era quite early on. A really creative time as far as human invention and the gaining of knowledge is concerned. Uh, and then we imagined our own world where players could open portals to these fantastic realms. Uh, meet Fae, meet all sorts of really cool things. And once we started to pair those two things together, multiplayer world, multiple worlds, and this Victorian setting, that was really the birth of Nightingale. Now, I have to say for me personally, um, it's always intrigued me when I've watched like different movies where you're kind of playing around with like the multiverse, you know, AKA <laughs> Spider-Man that recently happened, or different stories where you're kind of breaking the fabric of reality. So for them to choose this route, I think has a lot of potential in terms of the overall flow of the game and of course, limitless content. From the very beginning, one of the things that really stood out to me was the idea that people needed places and that we could wow. create a space and a place for players that enable their creativity through this amazing new IP. The basis of the world is that there has been an ongoing relationship between the Fae and humanity that's been going on for centuries, if not longer, millennia even. Humans started out worshipping the Fae and so learned magic from them. Eventually that transformed into humans thinking they were almost equal to the Fae. And so they extricated themselves from our scary. world, taking most of the magic with them. During that time, the seed of magic has been planted in the world. And so alongside science and art, the Renaissance, comes the study of magic as this amazing new thing for humans to explore. Nightingale is set in an alternate reality, which means that we can talk about events throughout history through the lens of the phase relationship with humanity. So then fast forward hundreds of years and the magical city of Nightingale has been this city where humans from all over the world have come to study magic and understand it and build portals out to these magical fey realms and learn about that. And that's the genesis of our realm walkers. The realm walkers are those brave souls who survive and thrive in the realms as they make their way back to Mounts? Nightingale City. Yo, let's go. But our story starts at the end of the world. A cataclysmic event has descended upon the earth. This thing called the Pale begins to surround the world of a somewhat unknown origin. In a desperate attempt to survive, they try to use Earth's portal network to get to Nightingale, assuming that's the last bastion of humanity, that, that Nightingale has the strength of magic to hold back the Pale. Crazy Those Lord. who were trying to escape the Pale through the various portals around the planet have just been cast asunder effectively and they're lost within the labyrinth of the realms. It's ultimately up to players to decide how they want to tackle challenges in the realms as they make their way back to Nightingale City. So the Fae are split into various courts. Currently within the game, we have the winter and the summer court and each of these courts has their different motivations in terms of their behavior around humans and their relationships with the humans. The Winter Court uses the Bound as a weapon against humanity. The Bound being a grotesque mimicry of, of what humanity is and sending that against humans who eradicate. Whoa. So when players uh, awake after coming through this, this broken portal network and find themselves lost in these realms, that's where they meet Puck. He's the character you've seen in our trailers. So you might know him from A Midsummer's Night Dream, and he acts as your, your benevolent fey guide through our, the beginning of our story. As an alternate history, we have the opportunity to reimagine the stories of those characters in a way that hasn't been experienced before. 
humans have been out in the realms for, for centuries. So it's entirely possible to come across the ruins of civilizations that have lived in the realms before that have just been lost. You know, we have stories and NPCs that connect these events and connect people currently living in the realms that, you know, have been leading completely separate lives to humanity just within the Fey realms uh, themselves. With the advent of magic in our universe, we get a experience how people like Ada Lovelace would have interacted with magic. We get to bring in people from fiction like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and how they would operate in a world like this and making it all seem believable and real. When we started making Nightingale, it was our ambition to invest a lot into world building. Having a survival crafting game that had lore and richness in the NPCs and quests and things to discover. So that's going to be really, really exciting. Okay, two things. Magic, because a lot of survival games don't really deal with the aspect of magic. I could imagine it's got to be a nightmare to try to scale, especially in multiplayer format. Uh, since, from what I understand, this game is only going to be PvE, um, this gives them a lot more space to play with, but that's going to be huge. And then with the focus on world building, I think it's going to be really really nice or i hope it's going to be really really nice just for the fact that there are tons of survival games that don't really have the lore or the substance when you kind of go through the game and as you're playing the game you really just kind of run out of stuff to do uh you get on your typical gameplay loop and before you know it you've gotten everything in the game and you're bored and you're looking for something else so if this world is going to be alive and breathing and it's just going to be a matter of them adding in new portals or stacking on new lore, new stories, new activities. Um, I think this could be a step in the right direction. That it all sits well together and gives you a sense of, of reality, gives you a sense that this is a real set of places that you're going to. So I'm really hopeful you discover all that when you play. All right, now, um, all in all, I think this is looking really, really good. Um, I wanted to take an opportunity, this video just dropped today. Um, I'm gonna be covering Nightingale quite extensively if, as things start to ramp up. Um, I know that they recently pushed the release date of this game back to the first half of 2023 as they are changing to the Unreal Engine 5. Um, but any news or significant news and updates I will be providing and we'll be covering this game all the way to, the, I don't know, to infinity and beyond. Uh, hopefully we can get into a beta test of some sorts whenever they release those. And then if we're able to release content on that, um, I'll be sharing with you guys exclusive footage as well uh, for that game. So you guys can check that out here. But you guys can definitely expect a nonstop source for this game, especially as we gear up for the release. But with that being said, guys, let me know. Guys let me know what you guys thought uh, of the first look into Nightingale in the comment box below. Let's talk about it. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.